Hey Christ First, Pastor James here. I wanna give you a quick update on our master plan and Daring Faith Capital campaign. So our phase one plans have been submitted to the city of Covina, which is very exciting. So right now we are active in the city permitting process and hope to hear back from the city in the next few weeks or so, but we can't control uh, city bureaucracy and the timeline that they have, but we know and are praying to a God who can. One item with regards to the permitting process that the city has notified us on, and this is a huge praise, is that we don't have to go through what is called a CUP process, a conditional use permitting process. See, a CUP can add many months, potentially tens of thousands of dollars, including a public hearing. So thank you, Lord, that we were notified that we are not required to do a CUP. So what are we tackling in phase one? I'm gonna run through this quickly right now. Uh, I've shared this before, just so this is just as a reminder, but feel free to go back and pause and read through the details. I'm just gonna read through this very quick. So here's our goals for phase one. Number one, deferred maintenance. Two, our patio courtyard. Three, cafe, kitchen, and pantry. Four, a cafe seating area five ADA restrooms in the office. Six, Cody's Courtyard. So what's next? Well, first, in the next month, we will have clarity on exactly what phase one will cost. Again, we're gonna get those numbers within the next month and clarify that. Now, if it's more than 1.6 million, our master plan team and the elder board, we need to come together to consider whether the Lord is leading us to either increase our financial goal beyond 1.6 million, or whether we simply do less than what's on our phase one list that I just shared with you. Number two, when the faith decision is made, whether we increase the goal or whether we decrease the work done, we will be preparing a comprehensive communication piece to share with everyone, including you, in our church family. This will be our final big push to finish off this capital campaign. So this will include a booklet with photos, costs, uh, FAQ section, and a video presentation so you can be fully informed on all the details of this exciting gospel project. And then finally, what's next after that? Number three, construction begins in 2021. So thanks for praying. Thank you for continuing to generously give. See, every week in the E! News, we update the total raised. Our goal, again, is 1.6 million. And guess what? We only have $127,000 left to raise. So thanks for equipping every generation to reach their relational world for Christ.